this is a little problem somebody's had that they brought with, brought in to us to try and sort out. Um, this is a motor, fairly chunky motor, off of a saw bench of some description. Must be a pretty powerful thing. Um, and at first glance, you'd think, well, I don't know what the problem is, but the pulley is just held on with. Well, that's tight. That is mighty tight. What the heck? That's not the problem. Well, that's not what we were told about, anyway. Um, I think this has come loose. And I don't know if we can see this. Undo that a bit more. That is a pretty rubbish fit. Not too much we can do about that other than try and, well, yeah, you could bore out the pulley and sleeve it and rebore it to be a better fit on the shaft, but that's a bit of a, bit of a job and a half. So I'm gonna try and just pack this out with some shim. But the other problem is the keyway which is a super bad fit in here and because it's been moving around it has made the fit even worse that is so sloppy to the extent that what we're going to have to do to replace it is to make a, a kind of a stepped keyway the fit in the pulley is not too bad. That in there is not too terrible. Not quite sure what way around it was now, but um, yeah, that's not too too terrible. But the, the shaft on the motor and the part of the key that goes into the um, keyway in the motor shaft is just rubbish. So. Yeah, we're making another one. Another problem with this pulley on the, uh, the saw motor is this has been rubbing on the, this is the back of the pulley, has been rubbing on the case of the motor. So, yeah, we're just going to skim this, take about 10 thou off of it, and the easiest way of holding this magnetic chuck on a surface grinder. So. That's what we're going to do with this.
Well, that's a bit better than it was before. A bit flatter, a bit more clearance. Didn't take heaps off, but it was quite uneven to start with. But uh, yeah, that should do the job for this. And uh, just putting this pulley on the demagnetizer. Never quite sure whether you need to drag it across the surface or just plonk it on the top and switch it on and switch it off again, but uh, still, that's done that. Stops it picking up any little bits of uh, grinding dust or whatever. This is the replacement key that I've made. These little grub screws are, are extractor screws basically because I wanted to make this a nice snug fit in the keyway on the motor shaft. I don't know if you can see that that is actually wider on this side, which is the key, the side of the key that's going into the slot on the motor, and that is nice and snug, snug enough that um, we give that a tap. Should be nice and solid. The only problem now is that this is actually sticking out a bit too far. I wasn't quite sure how much engagement there was between the key and the shaft and the key and the pulley. So we've now got to skim this a little bit because the pulley is not going to go on. And these little grub screws, as I said, were to enable us to pull this out of here. Otherwise, it's not going to be easy. So, so that takes that out of there. And the other part, uh, side of the key. A little bit narrower, and that's to go in the shaft. Keyway in the shaft, uh, keyway in the pulley, sorry, is about 8 millimeters. Well, about, yeah, 8 millimeters. Whereas this worn out slot in the shaft is about 8.5. Hence the step on this. So we'll take the little. Uh, We'll grub screws out, put this back in the mill, take about a mill and a half off of this and hopefully we'll put it all back and it will be snug. We've got our stepped um, keyway, uh, stepped key I should say, in the keyway in the shaft and now we've got Fourth hour shim. It's probably not my focus on this, is it? And that's going to be a snug fit. So we have polished. The spindle of the motor, polished the bore of the pulley, so let's see if we can get this thing together.
I think a bit of shimmer's just twisted around the bore a bit. I'm liable to I'm going to try and fold that over there. Nope, let's have another go. Shim is all buckling up. You bastard. I might have to pull this off and try again. I don't think that's going to go down. Heck. don't think so. Well I just pulled the pulley off the motor shaft because uh, that bit of shim was wrinkling like a good and there was no way that was going to go down. So two minds now whether to try again with another piece of the same stuff or try a bit of slightly thinner. And the whole point of doing putting the shim in there is to stop the pulley wobbling on the shaft. So it wants to be a good fit but um, yeah, maybe this is just a bit too good. I'll see if I've got some, if this is 4,000, see if I've got some 3,000 stuff and see what that does. Might work lovely. Um, might allow a bit of wobble on the pulley still, but I think I might go that route. See what we've got. Well, we've got some 3,000 shim. I don't think we can get 3.5, which is probably what we need, so... Uh, well, let's see if this works. The same thing's happened at the top of this, which is kind of to be expected. It's all wrinkled up again, but I think that might be down. And if it is, I think we can live with that. That is down. Pretty wrinkled up end of the shim there, but you know what? I don't think that's going to matter. Um, I might just try and make sure that that is clear of the face of the pulley. And then we will just put our washer and nut on 
and hopefully that's done. Not sure if he's running that that true. Well, if it ain't, I don't know that there's anything we can do about that. Oh, that's not too bad. Certainly no wobble in it anymore. Well, it's as tight as I can do this. I think that's it. Job done.